All right. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone of whom I learned from daily. Oh, boy. And a healthy shalom to you, brothers, to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Also, shall I say this to the aqua that, you know, that's sitting back and listening, you know, to the 144 elect, man, to the elect. This is Isaiah 3, verse 11. I am I'm totally vexed, totally vexed right now. Anybody else getting sick of this place? <laughs> I'm sure you brothers are. You already know. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Isaiah 3 and verse 11. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. The, the reward of his hands. That's man, woman, and child. I'm going to play a clip that I, I got from uh, the brother Yahweh Conan, right? And, you know, I'm going to play. He has several clips. Just, just, uh, Nasty, man. Nasty. Uh, I'm not even going to play this one clip. I, I'm just going to play one clip because it really is really it had me a little bit sad, man. It was sad to see what happened. You get ready to see it. Verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. They what? They that lead thee cause thee to err. And destroy the way of thy paths, man. Now, scripture also goes into it and said, hey, man, give not thy strength unto a woman. You know, she really is not fit to be ruling anything. Not at all. Too many feelings and too much what? And, to, uh, and uh, not enough, so we say, accountability. We're going to go into that word right here in a minute. Verse 13, the Lord Yahweh standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. Hmm? The Lord... Yahweh will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof. For he, <clears throat> Salakia, <clears throat> excuse me, please, excuse me, wow. For he have eaten up the vineyard, the spoil of the poor is in your houses. The spoil. Verse 15. What mean ye that? Ye beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor? saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Moreover, the Lord Yahweh saith because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. This going to the curses right here. Some of the curses that have been put upon what? The daughters of Zion. Very interesting enough. Oh boy, I might have to show you. Verse 17, the Lord, therefore the Lord will smite thee with a scab of the crown of the head and the daughters of Zion, Salakia, of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord Yahweh will discover their secret parts. Stay tuned. I want you to watch this. And it, it's very sickening and very sad. There's no accountability. Zero accountability. Let's go to the word first. All right. Accountability. All right. The fact or a condition of being accountable, responsibility. Each and every one of us have a responsibility. And this is what, I'm talking about the Israelites, damn the rest of these nations, all right? And this is according to what? To the law and to the testimony, to the scriptures. We all have got to have accountability, but some just don't. Why? Because they're what? Settled in their lees. They have more than heart could wish. They think they've made it, and really they just eating crumbs off of the master's table. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of. Check this out. This was sad as hell, man. Sad. Everybody flipping out. You know? Yeah, yeah, just, just, a couple, just a couple more things. Uh, I was watching Elder Yasha Wampa's video yesterday that he had put up about how everybody's bugging out. They're losing it. All right? You, you had this woman, uh, yet again, another end up, all right? We, hey, it's, we got to make these videos because it's the truth. I'm getting sick of this damn place. It's truly vexed. This is crazy and madness. The scripture said that in the curses. He, he shall smite thee with madness and astonishment of heart, which is your mind anyway. You had the Eve that uh, threw, her, was, threw her children out on the highway. One, one uh, I think the nine-year-old lived. 
Then she went and unalived herself going 100 miles an hour. All right. People, uh, was that 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 lady that was talking about there's, there's something getting ready to happen in uh, in Texas? We 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 got to get ready. Something get ready to happen. She crying and bawling, bawling her eyes out. She said it's gonna be a great slaughter. And you know that's gonna happen all through Basra. Okay, all right. Another the another la the other lady. What she was uh, it's a bunch of women that's flipping out, man. And dudes, uh, you hey man, D uh, Jake. Jake Mills, shall I say, man, they getting ready to come in like a flood too. They getting ready to go wild like a like a wild bull in a net, going around graping and doing and unaliving and doing all kinds of different things. You could you could see it. Tell me, don't tell me you can't see it. Okay, nastiness, uh, 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 iniquity. It is is it just is 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 rampant throughout Babylon. This place is disgusting and sick. And the people's minds of wax gross for what? For a lack of knowledge. So um, let me go ahead and play this. All right. Zero accountability. Let's see if there's anything else. Responsibility. Liability. Okay. Answer ability. Answer ability. Responsibility. There's more. Okay. Uh, so like, I don't need to get any more. You already know. Nobody. They don't have accountability. All right. But when it comes to me and my house, it's, you know, hey, and things happen. Things happen. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. All right? Hey, hey, hey. Sarad, my little one, you know, uh, you know, he's he's a uh, young man now, right? Sarad, hey, he, he slipped and fell and bumped his head, got a, uh, got a concussion today. So, uh, you know, so it's best. It's best if you have a healthy fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, because he can do anything to you at any point in time. Don't never forget that. Check this out. Get back in your vehicle. I'm talking on the phone. I don't want my daughter to hear me talking. I'm sitting Get back. No, you're getting back in your vehicle. I'm going to take you to jail for obstruction. You want me to arrest you? There's no need. You want to get back in your car. I don't want my daughter to hear me talking. I'm going to get back in your car. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. See, you see that, you know, hey, look, the scripture said, agree with thine adversary quickly, right? You see that? Agree with thine adversary quickly. Let's let's go to the scripture. Now, ex please excuse me, Salakia, for this. And please excuse my voice, too. <clears throat> Still sort of messed up. All right. Accountability. All right. Let's read this. The fact or condition of being accountable responsibility. Same thing. OK, it's the same thing. Eve has zero accountability. See how sad that was. Now, the, what did the, what did the caption say? Let's let's go to the caption. Let's see what the caption say right here. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice. Damn. All right. See, this is the problem. This is what I said. The caption said, "Black woman, and ain't nobody black. Black woman assaulted by a by a white, ain't nobody white." State trooper in uh, Tifton, Georgia. Right now, hold on now. She wasn't she wasn't really assaulted. You got to abide by these laws. OK, we know we we are yet to stay in our captivity. You have to abide by these laws. You can't just get away with it. Why? Because you have no accountability because you've been given liberty to get abroad. You can't do that. You know, and this was very sad because right here below it says seven year old daughter fight for mother's life. He ain't fighting for her life. She should have listened to what he get your ass back in that car. You see, agree with that adversary quickly. 
Let's see, uh, uh, arrest you, take you to the judge. Salaki, I, I, you know, I quoted it wrong. I'm going to have to stop quoting scriptures like that and read it. Actually read it. Seven-year-old daughter fight for her mother's life and now traumatized with people in uniforms. Well, she brought that shit upon herself. All she had to do is go sit back in the car, you know, and, and, and let him. He was probably just going to give her a damn warning. You see? You know, and this video was put up by the brother Yawakonin, right? Okay? 3.0. <laughs> I love it. That's funny. But, you know, hey, man, these end dubs and they losing it. They're going crazy. You see? The vintage shall fail, as the scripture said, right? No accountability. Let's go here. All right? Oh, there was something else I wanted to get. Yeah, I got the brother's video pulled up. Oh, Salaki. So see, yeah, see, uh, getting sick of this place. I want you to listen to this very closely. Please, uh, excuse me. I want you to listen to this very closely. If you can hear it, I hope you can. Listen to what she says. All right. And right here it says they asked her to reveal the freakiest shit she's ever done. Uh, and her response is shocking. And yes, it's shocking. I told you when I was watching this video, vexed. So hopefully you can hear this. I'm going to play it. Come on. Nah, it's not, the, it's not the right one, but you keep, keep listening. But your father is your creator. He's a legitimate super genius. The freaky shit activity, you really want to know? That's why I asked. Right. So, one time, I seen my daddy good on the tail. He was in his room. She said, one time I seen my daddy nut on a towel. Listen to what she says. I hope you can hear it. Did you hear that? This is this is the state. This is the state of our people. Salakia. Not just not just Eve, but but Jacob is uh, uh, this is she said she she took her uh, you know her little thing out that you know that shakes shakes rattles and rolls, right? And she seen her daddy nut on a towel, take to and play play with herself with it. Then took a tear, little teardrop thing, a, a, a turkey baster. And scooped it up and put it in her. This is now. Do you see why the flood had to come? Now do you see why you how about Shimia was shot? Go destroy two thirds of you. That's disgusting. Isaiah three verse eleven. Woe unto the wicked. That's a west wicked as hell. My goodness. And it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Right. See, I read that before. As for my people, children are their oppressors, oppressors and women rule over them. Let's go here. Sirach 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Here's, the, here, here's one of the problems. It was sad, it was sad as hell to see that because that seven-year-old, you know, I mean, look, seven-year-old really didn't know no better. She, don't have, she didn't have her mind about her, really. In her mind, she was just protecting you know, her mother, right? You know that's what was going on, right? But what you have done is is uh, is is caused her to have no accountability. She should know better. That's a grown ass man you was trying to beat up on. You should know better than that. And you, and your mama should have listened. Okay? Give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. See, it's too much freedom, man. Freedom! If she go not as thou would have uh, would have have her, cut her off from the flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. As simple and plain as that. All right. Zero accountability, man. That's just when I saw that, I said, I'm just going to go ahead and get into a lesson. It vexed the hell out of me when I saw it. She, did you did you hear what this woman just said? And she got a yellow thin hair. I wasn't going to. Uh, everybody's losing it, man. See, we sick of this place. Here we go. Sirach 44 and verse 20. Who kept the law of the Most High and was in covenant with him? He established the covenant in his flesh. And when, and when he was proved, he was found faithful. 
But, but the gold and the silver has what? Become dross, man. A home-born slave. A go-along to get along. A 304. You know, a, a LGBC 3PO. A this or that. Even the, even the pork chop preachers that, that claim they doing the right thing. Yes, Lord. I, even they going off. The whole, this, this, is, is, is you a homeborn slave? 2 Corinthians 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror. Let's go back. See, they have no fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh They don't know the terror of the Lord. They don't understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is getting ready to do something to you. That's why I gave you that, you know, quick example on what happened to my son today. You don't never know what, you don't know, you don't know. You're not promised another day. Okay? If the water to you, how about shipping y'all shot it? He's all right. And, you know, it, it, and that's why we pray always, man. Understand? Verse 10. Um, let's go to verse 2 Corinthians 5, verse 9. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. You see, in the scripture, in the precept, uh, goes into that. It said, if, you know, if you if you hate your brother, which you have seen, you know, if you hate your brother that you have seen, how can you love Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, which you have not seen, whether present or absent? And he's always here with us. His angels are encamped round about us. That's what these people don't understand. No shame, no accountability, no shame. It was uh, it was a uh, it was a video on the chat just the other day. It just damn it. This place is just terrible. There's a video on the chat the other day that uh, uh, elder, uh, elder, uh, a brother, somebody put it up. Okay? It doesn't matter who put it up. It was it put, Somebody put it up. And there was a damn Eve shaking her, shaking her ass. Well, watch yourself. You know what you got to do. You know what you're working with. Whatever the hell he said. See? See? Even the damn dogs uh, can't stand this place. She was shaking her ass in front of her children. They were slapping her butt and everything, man. Like they was in the club. See? Verse 10, man. Oh, my goodness. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach Yahawashai, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Galatians 5, verse 25. See? Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High Yahweh. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. You see? You, do you understand what these scriptures are telling you? To, according to the things that you have done. All right? Isaiah Chapter 1 and verse 1, the vision of Isaiah. Let's, let's move on down. Verse 2, hear, O heavens. There we go. And give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh have spoken. I have nourished and brought up the children, and they have rebelled against me. He, he, he gave us everything we needed. Matter of fact, it's right here in the Bible. But it's the simple little things like that. See, you, you don't turn... You know, I mean, you know, and we ain't supposed to, uh, we don't, we're not supposed to love our enemies. We hate the evil and love the good, but you got to, you got to pay attention. It's an order to everything. The scripture said, walk circumspectly in Ephesians. It tells you that. Hear, O heavens, and give, O, uh, o ear, give ear, O earth. For the Lord, Yahweh have spoken. I have nourished and brought up the children and they have rebelled against me and they continually do it. Verse three, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. Two dumb animals, all right, that know nothing but stand up, eat, sleep, and shit. That's all they know. But, they, but you, know what they, you know what else they know? What the scripture just said? They know where to go at the end of the day. They know where their power is. They know the, the hand that feeds them. They know where their pasture is. See? All right? But Israel, what? It was Israel... You know, which is a people before it's a place, doth not know. My people doth not consider, man. And that was a lewd, nasty, and wretched act that that, that Eve was talking. She got a yellow, thin hair, too. You know, that's a, a, a trending. Okay. All right. And, and, and what the other Eve did is talking talk about uh, uh, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. What, you, you, what are you doing? 
That was sad. It was sad as hell. To me, that was sad. That was a sad. That's a sad state to be in, man. You know, at what at what point is this uh 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 you know, C H I L D abuse? At what point? Verse four: A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord Yahweh. They have uh. Provoke the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are all going away backwards. And when you're going backwards, you damn sure ain't walking forward. You ain't looking for the straight gate. You're not looking for that. All right. Uh, verse five. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. Through, man. I mean, just through. Finished. It was, that's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You know, there's a yeah, there was some more in here, but I'm not, I'm not gonna play the rest of. I just play that one clip. All right, because that 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 actually sad me, man. You know how dare you? Genesis two verse eighteen, and the Lord Yahweh power said, "It is not good that uh, that the man should be alone. I will make him what I help meet for him." And see, there's an order. We always read that in, in Corinthians. You know, and we always read about that order. It's an order. But the scriptures tell us that, that right now, the whole uh, uh, course of the earth is out of order. Everything's out of order. And our people, you know, our people love to have it so laden with iniquity, seed of evildoers, as the scripture just said. All right. But that help me was made for what? For the husband. And he shall rule over you. Where was where was where was the daddy at? He probably either kicked out of the house or left on his own accord. It's either one of the two, right? So and you know, hey, in, the, in the scripture, in the, right there in Deuteronomy twenty eight again, it said uh, uh, the children that, that ye shall leave. Okay, rather she kicked your ass out because, uh, or you couldn't stand that loud ass mouth because clearly. Clearly, even uh, even her uh, beloved daddy, uh, Esau Edom, she didn't have no regard for him neither. You know, which we don't have no regard for Esau Edom, man. Screw Esau Edom. I'm just saying we got to uh, walk circumspectly and we got to obey the laws. And that's that. We got to obey the laws. That's what walking circumspectly means. Not as wise. I mean, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because what? The days are evil. Okay. We got righteousness coming on the other side, all right? And, and by doing the work, doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's who my brother and my mother and my sister is any damn way, okay? Romans 14, verse 10. But why, but why does thou judge thy brother? Or why does thou set at not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Hamashiach Yahushai, which in fact is our big brother, and he's coming back with anger. We caused we caused him to anger. We caused Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to anger. See? By what? All this iniquity and the bullshit that keeps going on and on and on and on and on. And it just it just don't stop. It just it don't stop. That's why two thirds got to go. That's why people are flipping out. All kinds of and enchantments. Ain't, ain't no ain't no telling what Esau Edom had going. You know, he he activated that con, I call it concern. Concern, right? He activated that machine. And you and you never know, man. Hey, there was a video uh the brother uh 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 was it a moth your ice? No, 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 he wasn't the one he wasn't a Azana Moth. Yep, Azana Moth had put up uh some years back, a couple years back. All right. And it was showing where these antennas, you already know what it is. These antennas, they hit a button, everybody dropped dead. Everybody, everybody, you know, you already know. It, 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 was, a, it was another lesson. And this this was awesome. And they took <laughs> they took that video down because of this. Real quick, that uh brother you won, all right? He uh, he's uh he's in Texas, all right, and, you know, for formerly uh with uh Elder Monotna Zakba in South Carolina, right? But he had put up a video. And I reposted it, and they took them down quick. Of let me see if I can explain it without going too far into it. Of um, uh, you know those uh, GG antennas. We'll, we'll say it like that. You know, uno cinco, uno dos 
uh, uh, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, cinco G. Yep. <laughs> I had to count it up, you know. Cinco, cinco G antennas, right? And one of the workers had opened it up, and guess what it said in it? Uh-huh. Yep. CV, one niner. That's what it said. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, verse 11, for it is written as I live, say if you ain't no AC, ain't no, what I was really going into is there ain't no telling what Esau Edom was done, right? He done activated something. Everybody's losing it. The uh, the so-called uh, father of the uh, God particle theory or whatever uh, uh, passed away on April 8th. You understand? Mm -hmm. Verse 11, for it is written as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to the Most High Yahweh. So then everyone of us shall give account of himself to the Most High Yahweh. Woo. Verse, verse 13, let us, let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge this matter, this, judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way, right? You see? And what we're telling you what is, is the truth it is the truth. We're giving you the straight skinny with, with no chaser. All right? Letting you know with, without any, we don't give a damn about nobody's feelings. Letting you know straight up and straight down what the 100% truth is. And whether you were here to forbear it, oh well. You're going to know in that day. It said every knee shall bow anyway. You understand? Continuing on. A couple more. <clears throat> Isaiah 1 and verse 22. This silver has become dross. Thy wine is mixed with water. That's right. This silver has become dross, man. Dim. Your eyes are dim. Your ears are dull. You know, the wine is mixed with water, diluted. You know, mixed down into uh, into into something that's 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 not uh, the blood of the grape anymore. You know, mixed down into uh, iniquity and just children of evildoers and just degenerates altogether. It's it's sickening what we're seeing out here. And we pray to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that He absolutely destroys and obliterates these people. And He's going to do it. He's not a man where He shall lie. That's what the Scripture said. All right. And hey, you got to understand that he, he is going to perform his will. You can already see it happening. With, well, that's why we stay occupied in prophecies. See, verse 23, thy princes are rebellious and companies of thieves. Huh. Everyone loveth gifts and follow after rewards. See that? Thy judge not the, uh, they judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cause of the widow to come Unto them, man. See, the gold has become dross, man. Our people are out there like just, just wild, wild, too wild and crazy guys. If you understand, what, you know, <laughs> I think that's an old, old clip from a Saturday Night Live, which I really never watched. I didn't think that shit was funny anyway. I just didn't. In Living Color now, that was funny. All right. Salakia, let's keep going. I liked In Living Color. That was funny. Although... They had they always had a bunch of ninjas in dresses too. You already know what it is. You you know, First Corinthians eleven verse six. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. See that. Verse seven. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. You know, got whole camps. With flat bill baseball caps on. Don't understand that one. My goodness. For, for so much as he is the image and glory of Yahweh Salakia. But the woman is the glory of the man. See, that's that order. See, we could have went up and read just a little bit more. But I'll leave it right there, man. When I saw that video with the brother Yahweh Conan, I said, damn, man. Our people, it's just, our people are just, they're, they're uh, disgusting, man. Absolutely disgusting. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekaha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Man, keep your nose in the scriptures. Keep reading. Keep learning. Keep growing. 
We supposed to be better day by day as we watch the degenerates, you know, the uh, 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 of our people, northern and southern kingdom, it, it, all every every damn one of them, speckled birds. All right, that no, and no matter where the hell you how about you, y'all shot scattered us. They acting a fool also. All right, it ain't, it ain't no, it's, it ain't no, ain't a, ain't a black thing. Shh. You ninjas are crazy, man. Shh. I'll leave it right there. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Chrome Yasharala and Wa Abiba Ball. Boom! Shalom.